Shalom Chavarim, this is Richard Solomon, and this will be a demonstration of how Zooburst, the 3D book creation web tool and iPad application works. So I'm making an assumption that all of you can get to the uh, Zooburst website and then all you need to do is simply to uh, sign in and uh, I'm going to sign in like this. I have a teacher account and uh, I'm going to sign in. So let's take a look at my books. I just clicked on my books up here and uh, this is something you as a Judaic educator or your students can do, which is create uh, 3D books. And uh, I'll show you one that I just made called Honey and the Seed Planter. All right, so let's click on this and see what that looks like. All right. And uh, it says this book is about how we contribute to those who come after us. Let's click on the arrow and uh, up pops a picture of a sage. And it says, this is a picture of Honey the Circle Maker, who was a great sage who loved to ask people questions. There are nine pages in this book. Now we see a pi picture of a sage and a farmer. And the text says, one day while walking, Honey came upon a farm who was planting seeds. Do you see the farmer in this picture? There he is. Let's get to the next page in the story. Huni said, what are you doing? The farmer said, I am placing carob seeds in the ground so others may enjoy the fruit of this tree. Now on the fourth page, it says, Huni asked, how long will it take for the seed to become a carob tree and bear fruit? And the farmer said, 70 years. Huni then asked, and do you think you will be, you will live another 70 years to eat the fruit of this tree? And the farmer said, perhaps not. But when I was born, I found carob trees planted by my father and my grandfather. And just as they planted trees for me, I am planting carob trees for my children and grandchildren. And on the last page is a question mark, as you'll see, and it asks the reader, what is the moral of the story? All right, so let me show you how I made this 3D pop-up book. Okay, let's start a new book. And let's call the name of this book, we'll just call this Honey Example. Okay. And this is a book about Honey. By the way, some people pronounce it Honey, but I'm saying Honey. Book is for everyone, and people can come comment on it. And then we hit save. So let me show you how this book works. It starts off with a page, and uh, of the book it looks like this. And the first thing I want to do is upload a picture. But you have other choices uh, that you can use. Some of these will cost you to uh, use their library. So I'm doing the free version. So I'm going to upload a picture from my computer of Honey. OK. And we'll see if we can find that picture. Here it is. Here's a picture of the sage. I double click. The picture will appear here. We click on the picture and then Honey appears here. And then you write your text over here. So I'm just going to say, this is a picture of Honey, the circle maker. Oh, okay, we'll say that. The circle maker who was a great sage who loved We'll say to ask questions. All right? 
And then when it's finished, we just hit check. And sure enough, there it is. When you want to add another page, you just click on this over here, right? And you put up, find another picture, and you write a text. And when you're finished, you hit save. All right, so this was just simply a, a demonstration. So we'll just call this demonstration. And now I want to do is I want to show you how you can do the same thing on your Zooburst application on your iPad. So let's take a look at my iPad and I'm on Zooburst and I'm signed in. And let me open up my books. You see, this was the example over here that I just uh, created, but let's look at the one that we have here. Okay, we're looking at it. And you see, this is a picture of Honey, the circle maker, who was a great sage who loved to ask people questions. So this is a picture of the screen on my iPad. And it contains the same story about Honey, the circle maker who was a great sage and loved to pose questions. And this is the story of Honey and the seed planter. So, Chavrim, this is an example of how you can use Zooburst, either the web tool or the free iPad app for Judaic instruction and teacher training. Thank you so much.